but also what I'm doing when I have the chance, when somebody, when a mechanical engineer designs something or when a software engineer designs something, I ask them to operate what they designed. <laughs> and so, nice. so they, they, ex, so they experience, um, uh, the difficulties or, or, or the same experience that their users is going to experience wow. and, and it gives them a sense of understanding of why it's important. That's, that's clever and that's interesting, but I feel like there's an obvious caveat there, yeah. which is I can engineer a horrible to interact with system, but I at least know where I place different form elements and text that shouldn't be there. And, you know, a, a menu right. within another menu where it probably shouldn't even exist and there should just be a button. I know where all that stuff is because I, I built it. And so right. when so, that person operates it, they're like, oh, obviously you go to this and then that and then this and then you open this exactly. and then you type the thing in and, you know, it made my popcorn, you know, <laughs> it worked. <It's, laughs> obviously. You know? How do you get people out away from their own biases if, if they're the ones that, that put it together? Okay, so, so this is a great point because uh, the... the the reason I give people to experience what they designed is that I want them to understand uh, a little bit of how uh, the users will um, will feel. But when we do usability testing, in order to validate the design, we don't bring people from inside the organization. Uh, we bring people. We we try to get people who are not. We call it contaminated with uh with the development process 